so hello guys today we will see how to create this qr badge display so before moving to the build part let me show you a quick demo this uses the wireless esp8266 chip and to control the badge we are going to connect to the wi-fi access point created by it through any mobile device the access point name is defined in the arduino code which is currently showing as esp ap after connecting to this we can go to any mobile browser and browse to the hosted page so let's move to the browser the link is 192.168.4.1 and there is this page through which we can enter the link to change the qr on the display so let's try a test message this is a test message and then we need to click a submit button let's see if it is changed correctly or not let me try and press it again yeah it's changed and let's check if it is working or not and there we go it is showing the right message also there are some pre-configured buttons like you can attach it to your Instructables page, the YouTube page, Instagram or LinkedIn. And the links for these buttons can be changed from the edit link page. In this page we can enter the links associated with each button and then we can click the submit button to save those edited links. You can wear this as a badge attached to your backpack wear it on your belt or even use it as a simple keychain. To order the PCBs for this project, I used PCBWare.com which provides high quality PCB prototyping along with PCB assembly, 3D printing and CNC solutions with just a few clicks. You just need to upload the Gerber files and select the number of PCBs you want to place the order for and within few days, professional looking high quality PCBs will be delivered to you. So let's move to the build part and for that you will need one SPDT switch, 10 KSMD resistor, ESP12 module, ST7789IPS display, the PCB and the FTDI or Node MCU as a programmer. For programming the board you need to connect the circuit in the following configuration. For the code, you will be needing few libraries which you can install from the Arduino IDE option section, include library and then click manage library and a dialog box will open within which you can search for the libraries like Adafruit, ST7789, GFX, FS.h, Arduino, JSON.h. The other libraries and the code can be found in the zip file attached in the detailed description below. After all the configuration is done, we can compile and upload the code. The ESP uses the SPIFS memory to host the HTML pages you saw earlier to configure the links and for that we will be needing an option ESP data upload. And there is an awesome tutorial by Andrew Spice regarding the SPIFS memory which I have attached in the description. This is an animated assembly guide just to show you what will go where during the assembly procedure. After everything is soldered, let's just test it once and then we can enclose everything in a 3D printed cover. So it is working fine and it's time to assemble it. And the first thing we will attach is a display by pressing it it's in a top cover and it will snap fit into it. After the display, 
the assembled PCB, charge circuitry and the battery will go in the base and we can secure them using some double sided tape or you can even use a glue gun. So there goes this charge circuitry and after that the battery. Then we can close this again using the snap fits built into the top and bottom parts so there isn't any requirement for screw or adhesive. So our QR badge display is finished. All the materials, codes, 3D printed files and a detailed description can be found on the Instructables page. The link for which is in the description below. If you like this project then share it with your friends. Subscribe to Makertronics for more such projects. Thank you.